Are the pants on a roll or is it me that's on a roll? Ciao a tutti! Part 2 coming at you of my Italian travel capsule closet. I'm here for five weeks on holiday but still creating some content for you because I literally cannot stay away from you for that long. So I hope you enjoy the looks. I think there's about 40. I brought 16 pieces with me of clothing, three pairs of shoes, three bags or purses, and two sunnies. All of it fit in a carry-on. I did a transatlantic flight from Canada over here to Italy. So I have plenty of outfit options and I think this is just such a great reminder that creativity is bred in the grounds of limitation and functional requirements. I truly think there is no better way to get more out of what you already have in your closet than working with a small number of items in your closet just by design like maybe creating a little capsule or for example going without you know your favorite go-to items for a week. All of these little limitations could really help us rejig the way we see our clothes and put them together in new and unique ways, which I think is so rewarding and satisfying and gives us an even greater kick and happiness than when we go out and buy something new on a whim that usually doesn't feel that fantastic. So I hope this travel capsule gives you some ideas on how to mix and match your outfits. It is very summer. I know we're heading on into September, but a lot of the principles which I talk about balance, proportion, all that stuff, those still apply no matter what kind of clothing you're looking at. So I hope that helps. If you are loving slow fashion content, you can find me at my next live workshop, which is on September 30th at 1 p.m. EST. We do really cool shop your closet exercises with two real live guests. So you're not looking at only my clothes because that can get a bit boring if you've been around for a while. I'll leave all of the details for you in the description box below. You can also find me on my podcast. Yay, with Christina Mijas and Sina Hansen. I'll leave that information down below for you as well. But in the meantime, andiamo. Let's look at these looks. I hope you like them. Here is my transatlantic flight look. I would normally show my little carry-on suitcase, but my camera is sitting on top of it right now. So I had my suitcase and then I had this, which was really stuffed. I would wear it as a backpack. Sneakers here were really good for motoring through. I also like how they kind of balance out the elegance of the pants. And they still make this feel travel appropriate and not too fussy. They're super lightweight. They feel like pajamas, so they are perfect travel pants. I've got my merino sweater, which is way too hot for the current temperature of this room, so I'm gonna take it off. What I wore underneath was just my black linen tee, and it actually did end up being pretty warm even in the airports on the Canadian side. So what I would do was just this. This is probably like the first time where I actually felt put together traveling. It's like a very adult thing to feel like you're not a hot mess running through the airport. It really is. Like it feels like I've got my life together, even though I really don't. Before we get into it, I have to tell you about this skirt. I purchased it recently. It was vintage linen, really, really good find for this trip. I had been looking for a linen mini skirt because I'm always wearing shorts in the summer, but I like the idea of a mini and I really wanted it to be in a very light summer fabric because our summers even in Canada are just getting even hotter. So I found this and it was a better fit when I bought it, but now it's a bit too big, and I think I just have to get it taken in at this point. But in the meantime, little hack that I came up with, I brought two of my belts with me. I just kind of lifted the waist to where I wanted it to be and added the belt to give it this like little paper bag vibe. And because of the linen, I often find, this is something that we don't talk about enough, is when you do little hacks like this, like with belts without loops, it's really, really important that you're working with the right textures. So I've got a true leather belt with linen. So these are pretty like rough textures. So they're actually gonna like stick and not slip and slide all over the place. And also I've tied it tight enough, like I've secured it tight enough that there is a little bit of bunching for that paper bag waist. So that's creating a little bit more friction. So again, the belt's not gonna move up and down. I'm not gonna lose my skirt. Because all of this is super harmonious though, like you see how we've got really soft colors. There isn't really a lot of contrast. I love black and like the harmonious colors. But what I don't like here is that I've got both the high color contrast, so the black versus all of this nice soft palette. And also it's really bulky compared to these pieces, which are showing a little bit of skin. Everything's a little bit soft. And like, there's nothing wrong with this look at all. But since I can get the benefit of a flat of like that more elegant vibe, I'm gonna go with this. 
And the reason why I'm keeping my watch is so that the black doesn't seem totally out of place. Again, I really do think a little woven bag would serve this look really, really well, but the puzzle is fine too. Even though it's not black, I think this scarf adds a little bit of that lightness, which is really cute. And I'm gonna go with the glasses, that, the sunnies that are a little bit more, again, feminine, light, not so heavy. If I wanted to keep the heftier sandal, then you wanna know what I would have done? I would have taken off the scarf and I would have used the Cillian Sunnies because then we would have had a little bit more of that like visual heft balanced out. But this is kind of the vibe I was going for, something a little bit more delicate, a little bit more feminine. Okay, a quick note on this one. I think this is totally fine. The sneaker is good, but in real life, I personally find the sneaker a little bit too heavy. I preferred the sneaker with the little black tank because there was a little bit more skin. It felt a little bit more balanced, whereas here I feel like the black top is too heavy. So I'm still gonna take the berry. This feels a lot better. I think the black is good. It feels better balanced. The backpack here, this is feeling a little bit more functional, a little bit more weight in terms of the visuals. See? Here. So we still get the comfort and function of like a really solid walkable sandal. Could do beach, could do grocery, could walk for hours in these and still feel really chic and stylish. This is like a good little exploratory outfit. I have worn this dress so much. It's a big surprise, but it's just so cool and easy. This is how I would wear it day. Like I've often worn it running errands with my little fanny pack so everything's like up close and then if I'm going to do like groceries or whatever I've got my little tote. It can feel either like elevated scrubs or even like with the sandal like this. I don't know it can almost feel like a little bit biblical so I always wear it with a watch and I'm also gonna post some photos of other ways that I've worn it like with the scarf but I also love wearing it with like my ball cap and my glasses. I think it just looks it really like changes it up and feels very unexpected that way. Evening, I would swap out the little pearl earrings for these chunkier ones by Monica Vinader. I would keep the watch. I don't normally wear watches in the evening, but I just find, especially here, to kind of elevate my more basic looks, I've been wearing my watches. I'm gonna stack these Monica Vinader dome rings. I really like that. I feel like the heftier jewelry plays really well with the volume of this dress, and I actually want this bigger contrast here. I've never tried belting this. I don't think I would. I think it would mess up the lines a little bit, like the V is really nice and deep. I like this silhouette. I think it feels very the row, very Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, especially if you're pairing it with like a good little minimal but super chic flat. Moving on to the denim shorts. This is actually something that I haven't worn yet. It's been a little too hot, but I really like the mix of textures here. The little eyelet with the linen. Have the string to keep it going with the delicate balance. I just felt like the other two options would have been too heavy, which is ironic since I thought the black backpack would be a good idea here, simply because this feels a little bit more like functional, athletic, sporty. One of those days where maybe you want to tour but also feel cute. So I like that we have a little bit of that mix of functionality and I think for example like if you are kind of touring and you end up coming across a very cute Osteria that feels you know maybe a little bit fancy and so you you want to maybe dress yourself up a bit I would just take this off and then you get a little bit more like this feels a little bit more dressed all of a sudden because you don't have this shirt okay I wore this look on a morning where I was doing a little bit of like a reconnaissance mission, just looking for the beach, because apparently the public beach was amazing and it took me a little while to find it. But I walked, I did all of the lungomare, I loved having my running shoes. It was boiling hot, but I do find that this secondhand, super lightweight cotton shirt, I like how it gives me a bit of color and it keeps my arms covered too. So even though it's really hot, I think if you look for the wind, if you look for shade, it, I was totally comfortable in this. 
sneakers. I had the scarf in my hair, so I just had it like tied around my head like a little headband. That was cute. And I kind of liked how the scarf was like, ooh, vintage chic scarf with some really like touristy looking trainers. And then I added the vintage fanny just cause it's small. I don't have to carry all my things. It's light, it's easy. Here's one that I haven't quite worn yet. I've worn this top and this skirt, the thicker body sandal here with this before. And I just wore that to like do some errands and things like that. And it looked really cute. I didn't style the shirt this way though. It was just loose and like untucked and really, really undone. But I thought this was kind of a cute look with the scarf and with the more delicate sandal. This is like kind of fun if it's like a lunch or I don't know, maybe another like aperitivo. But you know, like I'm not going out that much, but I would still probably wear this just to like go out for the afternoon afternoon, take myself for a gelato or even like a morning coffee. I have to speak to this look because it is way outside of my character and style aesthetic. Even though, you know, in the summer, like I said, I do like to lean a little bit more into a like bombshell -y summer Italian glam chic side. This is kind of a, a big, big departure and I would most likely not ever gravitate towards this combo, but I wanted to show it to you so that you know that it could absolutely work together with the pieces that I brought, even though I've got black accessories, dark, heavier accessories. The reason why this is working is that we've got the cream belt. I honestly think if we had used a black belt, it would have been way too much of a stark contrast here. So the contrast is happening in the bag and in the sandal and a little bit we're bringing it in with the watch. I wore this to a dinner out in Carrara, where I took a bike, where I rode a bike successfully without falling off. Pretty impressed with myself since I am not a biker, but this was a really good outfit for something like that, where you need to walk to your destination, but you still want to feel a little bit fancy when you get there. It was a later evening. Carrara is a little bit more cool than Sicily, so having this sweater was great. What I like about it is the juxtaposition between the soft, the silk. You see how this is like super feminine and then this is like a little bit more like the tailored short. So we get the whole like masculine, feminine mix going on, which I like. Boyfriend sweater, super cute, but it's got that softness. Kept the original belt because sometimes I feel feel again, like there just would have been too much contrast, too much to look at. Super cute. And if it gets cooler, since I am here until mid-September, I think this will be a really good look, especially because we can kind of bring in fall with the color and the heft, the tailoring of the shorts. worn this yet, but this is definitely something I would wear if I was going for like an early outing, like an aperitivo or something like that. Like probably not a full on dinner. Actually, no, I would also wear this to a full on dinner, but I feel like the heftiness of the sandal does bring it down just a little bit for jewelry to dress it up a little. I kept the pearl earrings rather than going with like the gold hoop. I felt like that was a little bit predictable, especially if I've got the gold, like the double layer necklaces here. These are both Monica Vinader. Love these. So I just thought like the pearl felt a little bit, a little bit like, ooh, that's interesting because everything else is a little bit edgy. It's a little bit like tougher and heftier. So the pearl kind of changes the vibe and, and gives it a little bit of an interesting balance or like tension actually is probably the better word. Same thing with the sandals. I think something more expected for something elevated would have been the more like thing more strappy and delicate, but I kind of like the bigness of this guy here. I'm definitely a standout when I walk around here. Trapani, Sicily is like very beachy. 
beachy. There's a lot of off the shoulder puffy sleeves and florals and gorgeous floaty dresses. And I look very cosmopolitan and very much like not beach town vibes. But this is my interpretation of beach town vibes. All of this is fitting like really loosely and off the body so I'm nice and cool at night or even in the afternoon. Purse that I would bring is the puzzle. This still looks good. The majority of my looks are like this, right? Like a little bit more of that cosmopolitan-ish feel. So the puzzle was the best choice for me. I, I like it. You know, I'll probably wear this tonight, maybe. Okay, another heavier, more evening option, but my Power of My People shirt is linen, so it's super light and I've tied it so that it feels a little bit more like beachy and easy and evening-ish. I would keep the string with this actually, again, because I kind of like the juxtaposition between the heaviness and then the nice, like easy, delicate sandal. The puzzle obviously works really well here because it's navy and we've got like a whole like black and navy story going on. And I kept the jewelry really simple because I just wanted everything to feel understated because the, the palette here is already quite heavy. The textures here are quite like solid, you know, like we've got this like matte black with the organic. I really don't want to contrast it or bring in too many other visual elements here. Here's a look that I love. Wore it recently out for aperitivo and then for drinks and a really lovely and fun evening with a new friend. Grazie Lucelia for l'ospitalita. She took me out. We had a really wonderful time meeting some of her friends, going to a little local wine bar. I mean, yeah, it's all black again, but it felt a little bit more like beachy inspired because of the texture of this linen top and I thought it was really nice like juxtaposition with the like little bit of a chic trouser and then I went with the more delicate the string and I kind of liked how the elegance of the bottom offset the sort of rough texture of the top half a little bit of midriff showing not too much this t-shirt though because it's very boxy cut I tied a little knot in the back to make it a little bit more fitted. For jewelry, I added this black square face watch, double heftier necklaces, and I did a heftier earring because again, I really did, like we were going out, I did wanna sort of elevate the linen and cotton. Like this is kind of that one piece that provides a little bit of like the tension or the interesting something, but everything else I kept rather elevated. This one's a no brainer. If I really don't feel like thinking or putting in too much effort, I would just wear this silk cami. The trousers again, and I would keep the string, even though it feels a little bit predictable with the slinkiness of the top. I actually kind of like that. I like that this is predictable, it's easy, giving 90s whatever, you know? Okay, so here's one that I wore in Carrara for a dinner out, but I think this is okay. I feel like the string does feel a little bit predictable because the top is delicate, the trousers are elevated, so you kind of obviously want to go with a more elevated shoe. This top was a vintage find, recent. I thought it would be perfect for this trip, so I've just got my like regular rings here, and I swapped out the necklaces. I went with my more delicate heirloom, my Nona's necklace with the Monica Vinader longer chain, I did my Ana Luisa little hexagon hoops, which I also wore on travel days, which I loved because I was able to wear them with my glasses. Um, they weren't too heavy and they look so chic for travel. Like I just, I just think they're such a great earring. Okay, and here, this dress. I style it up and down almost identically to the other dress because they're very similar silhouettes, but obviously the print and the material are totally different. This is super Super elegant. It's got a little bit more of like a, the umpire waistline here. So there's a little bit more definition. The silhouette is a little bit more refined. So if I really want to be dressed up and I don't feel like wearing the trousers, then I will put this dress on. But what I love about it, like, oh my God, it literally feels like I'm naked, which is perfect for this heat. So if I'm going out, I'll do it with this minimal sandal. This, if I was doing nighttime or like, again, like a sun set aperitivo. I would go with these frames because they're nice and light. They really complement the dress. They don't take away from it. Okay, so here's this. Dress down for day. I've totally done this. I love the chunkiness of the sandal a little bit, like gives a little bit of tension. I love how the fanny pack is green and it's kind of like, okay, green, yellow, black, what's happening? The green is subtle. It really makes the dress feel nonchalant and not precious, which I really love. If you want to go like 
a little bit wild. If you're like a color mixing person, then you could totally do like throw this in your hair and do something really fun with it. This kind of dress could be a really good opportunity. Like if you've got that one print and you also decide to bring a scarf, which will no doubt be printed, don't underestimate how bold of a look you can create by putting these things together. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed those looks. Whether you're traveling or not, like I said, it's really about getting that creativity going in your closet and using what you've already got to feel satisfied and inspired by what you have. This is not like a one-stop solution, I don't think. There is so much that goes on around slow fashion and appreciating what you have, but this is just one of the pieces of that puzzle, which I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of your week, time, lunch hour, wherever you're at, and I will see you in the next slow fashion video. Ciao.